Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC 10 dealing with inconsistent units within scheduling. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the inconsistent units message that appears sometimes when we're dealing with scheduling. By the inconsistent units, what I mean is in Revit terms, we generally try and let's say multiply meter uh, length, which is dealt with in meters, with for example currency, which we've dealt with in pounds. Those two are the equivalent of trying to multiply an elephant by a car. Um, the outcome is not realistic and it's not consistent as we work. What we'd actually need to look at in Revit is how we can overcome this message that does appear in order to enable us to gain our output. Okay, so here I have a model uh, with our walls and just in accordance with this I've created a wall schedule. If I just go into my wall schedule you can see the available fields that I've placed into this and I'm just going to go in to the fields area of our schedule. Okay, so what I have here at the moment is I have a cost per meter. Now what I want to do is I want to try and find a, a total cost for all of our walls. To gain that total cost I could go to cost per meter times length and that will give me an exact figure per wall that obviously at the end I can then go and total. So in order to do this the cost per meter is dealt with in a currency unit and the length is dealt with in a millimeters unit. Now again as previously stated those are not compatible units to multiply. So what I need to do is show you firstly the inconsistent units message that will appear. So firstly if I just go to calculated value in here I'm just going to give this a name. So this is going to be total cost like so. The discipline is going to be common and the type is going to be a currency because we want to see this as a pound output. The formula from here is going to be cost per meter times the length. Okay, so that hopefully would normally be the output or the input that we would look to try and achieve our, our overall figures. If I now click OK though, however, this now gives us a message of inconsistent units. So this is where it's telling us, well actually you cannot multiply a, a pound by a length for example. So what we need to do then is we need to look at how we can get rid of this or how we can do this. Um, and basically what we're now looking to do is break these both of these figures down to just numbers. So what I would do is this. The formula remains the same pretty much apart from I'm going to put a bracket here and a bracket then just at the end like so. I'm then just going to put a divide by 1. So what we have is open bracket, cost per meter, divide by 1, close bracket. Now that's the law of unity in mathematical terms and that will basically mean if we divide or multiply the, the figure by 1 this will then in fact omit the unit. This now brings us to a completely level field and we can now go ahead and start to multiply this. If I now click OK that will actually allow us to carry on and see this field as we go. Now obviously just in this term if I just click on edit here because we're dealing in millimeters I'm just going to divide the output by a thousand, click OK, OK again, and there is in fact our total cost. So that is how we can overcome inconsistent units simply by dividing the unit by one or multiplying by one. OK, I hope that helps. Thank you.